Hi, it's Tom from AirPot. So you receive your sample box from AirPot, in this case a 2KS160A dash pot. I'm going to show you today how to mount it and adjust the damping on it. So first, open up the box. We've got some written instructions. Um, and underneath is the dash pot. So pull that out. Um, we've got the cylinder and the rod and we've got this plastic knurled cap. That's got to come off first. That could be, on some units, it can be kind of tight. Um, take that off for now. Underneath here, you can see this hex head screw uh, with the screwdriver slot. That is the damping adjust. So if you ever want to adjust the damping, you could um, just put the screwdriver in the screwdriver slot and turn that. This increases the damping and counterclockwise reduces it. It's got a hex section, so you could also use a nut driver to increase or decrease the damping. Um, what I did is I took a piece of junk 1 8 plate and drilled a 3 8 inch hole in it. And we're going to mount the dash pot. So take off the mounting nut and there's a Belleville washer. And what we're going to do is bolt it through that 3 8 hole. So back on with the Belleville washer, the large diameter down. And then the nut has a, um, it's an unusual nut. It has a rounded section on the top and eventually the knob is going to snap onto the nut. So what we're going to do, it can be a little bit tricky to get that nut started. So this has a half inch um, across the flats. So I'm going to use a half inch nut driver. And you can feel it, it's, uh, it doesn't take much torque to turn it. And then all of a sudden it gets very tight. And just snug it up there. Um, the instructions say to use a torque wrench, and which you should for a production job, but just to see how this thing works, we're going to stop, not do that. Take the knurled knob and it's going to snap onto the nut and it's going to drive the screw. So it just snaps on like that and now you can turn it. Can you see that? Yeah. So I can increase the damping by turning it um, clockwise and decrease it by turning it counterclockwise. Um, you can attach the rod. It's got a ball joint at the piston, ball joint at the outer end to a load. Uh, a lot of people like to see what's going on inside the cylinder. Right now this is a rubber tube over the Pyrex glass cylinder. So what you can do is you can take a, a new sharp razor blade and very carefully just cut along the length of the tube. And you can then peel the rubber tube right off. And underneath you can see the glass cylinder with the graphite piston inside. A lot of people like to do it that way. If you do take it off, just you know, keep the label, keep the part number, you can put it in the box.